Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're back into the red, my uh, redstone testing world, not my redstone testing world, because I will I'm trying to test a mod out that I'm creating, and I'll be showing you guys uh, what uh, I've made so far. So <laughs> this is all I've made so far. It's a clock block. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's uh, obviously it's going to be a redstone mod. So as you can see, it goes all the way around. The animation's pretty good until the bad part, which is really annoying. Uh, I'm, I'll try and fix it before the full release of this mod, but oh well. So step first things first, uh, I have a dispenser. And the reason I have it like this is because if I go like this, sure, it dispenses constantly. It acts like a redstone block, but one that const is constantly ticking. So if we go like this, it actually locks. It will lock uh, the thing, the actual, uh, yeah. So uh, things that I found while making this is that it'll make, <laughs> uh, it'll kind of break when it when next to uh, doors or trap doors, and it'll make a noise machine that doesn't show it moving. Uh, but this can obviously be fixed by locking it, and that's why I put them in the same. Same thing with these things, This, the, the note block. It can be locked, but I'm, if I'm uh, certain that these are the only things that can be locked like that. Now, uh, for the lights, it actually acts as a redstone block. It doesn't actually turn like constantly. And... Uh, you so you can if uh, I haven't tested this but you can't act, okay so you can't hit detect it through the block but you can, you do get redstone outputs out of it but you can't detect, detect it through blocks so it, it really is like a redstone block that's constantly ticking next up we we're gonna uh, I'm gonna show you how it reacts with uh, hoppers so if I throw this down it'll act as a literal uh like <laughs> redstone block but and if i put it in it'll go to the bottom one because of physics i don't know so <laughs> it's been a while since i did a redstone video okay so now if we put this on the redstone as you can see it's going to continue but on the when it does one full rotation it actually turns goes to one instead of four so it is four and st instead so it goes four uh full things before turning off and and then it goes to one every minute that way you can actually detect every full rotation now if we put it into a comparator as you can see you can uh, see the difference that it makes it just shows that the comparator works on this now for uh, pistons, as you can see, it literally just acts as a redstone block, uh, and it does do the uh, forget the name of it, but where it does both pistons. Now, if we detect it through an observer, you can detect every single block stage. There's supposed to be eight, but at the moment there's seven, and until that bug is fixed, we uh, we this mod won't, won't be able to be uh, come out. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get ten blocks in this series before uh, I actually uh, post the mod. Uh, so there, so we can get this together. So if you guys have any suggestions for this mod, please leave them down in the comments. So how do they work with subtraction comparators? So as you can see, uh, it doesn't. <laughs> which is so it's very odd so you do the subtraction and unless this is on the exact same uh thing as that uh it can it won't uh do anything so it as you can see it's off and then randomly three ticks or every time that uh, this does its full rotation it's very odd because you can uh, make them to where they're at different points that way uh, you can make some pretty crazy redstone uh, 
redstone stuff. Now, uh, another thing that I uh, really I thought hard about is if I could put blocks on top. No. No, you cannot. Uh, and the reason is because of the clock head. Uh, it's obviously spinning, so you wouldn't be able, so things would just be ground up into the, the clock head. That's my, my thought. It is be able to be pushed by a, a slime. And if you go like this, it'll be. Okay. And it can be pushed by a piston. So, yeah. Uh, so, what I'm going to do for. Uh, I'm going to show you, like, things that it can. Like, redstone contraptions that it can actually be used in. That way, you can use it later on. Alright, so as you can see, the normal drop container is very large. Uh, so, not this isn't a drop evader, but this is a hopper or a dropper clock. So, basically, it detects that it has something in it and then goes. So, it usually does that, and then, but it's usually this is the smallest design I could find. This, this block, although it's not as fast. It is uh, very much lag friendly and uh, also is very sm is much smaller uh, and I also love the design of it it kind of it looks like a clock tower so and so it's just gonna con uh, it's gonna continue until it's out uh, and then maybe you can make like some sort of comparative thing to to stop the clicking, but uh, it's I I just it's a lot more it's a lot better than having to make a big old thing like this, which is really nice. Uh, it's it can be used for so many different things. And it can be an alternative in flying machines too, except it's constantly clicking. So perhaps there uh, there can be a flying machine <laughs> made from this. But unfortunately, I kind of suck at making flying machines, so we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to uh, try and make a three by three piston door using this somehow. I don't really understand how I'm going to do it, but I'll try. And if I don't, uh. This is where the video will end, okay? Alright.